free people of color. And those free people of color at one time, ancestors may have been slaves. Don't waste your time on that. Do your research. Well, Chief Lane, where to refine these information? Research the archives. Many of your ancestors are named after the tribes or ethnic group they are. Do not omit. Let me tell you something. When the British said in the 1700s, oh, the 730,000 people, 70% of those people were descendants of East Indians and 30% were of Africans. I am telling you now, more East India Indians came into this country as slaves than Africans. All they will give you is a slave trade coming out of West Africa. Well, what about East Africa? Huh? What about the Pacific Coast? Didn't exist? There's sure as hell a Polynesian slave trade. How did they get here? The mine slave trade. You gotta be careful with white folks with history. They omit, they disregard, they try to give you a colonial romance, that ain't what you're looking for. If you want to become a better family, historian, a genealogist, you need to study history from a forensic perspective. You find your people. You study slavery from the African slave trade, you will find out that Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, what is known as Singapore today, was all part of East India. See? So when you take the time to map, now you really going to understand what is going on. The maps ain't gonna lie to you. See, they done take North, they, they have taken Northeastern Africa and then turned it into the Middle East. Now you go take a DNA test, they're talking about people from the middle. No, that's Northeast Africa. It was Northeast Africa a long before it was the Middle East when they start developing that in the early 1900s. Gotta understand history. Telling you these things. Because I want you to know. Every African American in this country ain't no American Indian. Every Negro in this country, all the Negroes are the true American Indian. Really? But if you talking about pre-Columbian Africans... How is a pre-Columbian African a Native American? Some of you Negroes are confused as hell. Because you don't know what you're talking about. The Africans came here first. But no African crossed the ocean. Slave trade didn't happen. But white folks came here and didn't bring nobody with them. Okay. Be careful what you eat on social media. It might not be good for your genealogical diet. Stay away from it. So now with the Tri-State Medical Society of 1908 says 325,000 Indo-African retook from Boone, Malabar, and Cameroon over a 300 year period why would they say that this is in 1908 
Chief Langley, I never heard of the Indo-African. I never heard of the Indo-African until I started digging into it and said, wow, I need to research this a little more. Let me tell you something about me. Before I start speaking on something, I research it for at least six months or a year before I even start speaking on it. I got to make sure this is factual. I got to check this out. I got to pray on this. I got to meditate on this. I got to go dig in the Spanish archives on this now. And the French. And the British. Let me see what the Portuguese are doing since they're the major indicators. Let's see what's going on. Is this true? Then what is an Indo-African? Oh, let me study some African history now. All these different African African ethnic groups. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now I see. Southern Ethiopia is India. Before they, colon- before they colonized it. And cut it off. Wow. Hmm. Why are there so many Africans in India? And why are there so many Indians in Africa? Ah. European conquering. Wow. It's been that way for thousands of years. Man, let me see, can I find some of these Asians? Oh, they're not called Asians. What are they called in colonial times? Negro Asiatics. Wow. Sailors, what are they calling them? Black Portuguese. Wow. Mm. Damn. Man, well, how come the British have all this history? And America's not saying nothing about it. See, America is a stepchild of the British. They really gonna tell some lies. Trust me. I didn't find any story. Let's sit down and have a talk. Guarantee you. And what's funny, I only use social media to educate. But I have more archaeologists and anthropologists following me. take my word for it. Go scan my friend list and look at some of them. How do I have what they don't have? Because I got the initiative and the drive to research this stuff. That they done wrote something wrong for so many years and don't have enough pride to say, hey, I was wrong or we got this wrong. That's the blessing of being an independent researcher. You don't have to deal with none of their crap. Me? I was invited to join several genealogical societies. Langley, you can't teach that in here. Good. 